Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Free Review. My name is Alex. I'll be walking you guys and gals through this review for the next few moments here today. A uh, really interesting beer looking at uh, Ballast Point down in San Diego, California. And we're going to their uh, critically acclaimed victory at sea. This time, though, it's aged in High West whiskey and bourbon barrels. So I'm assuming I'm a big High West fan myself. If you don't already know that through the channel, um, I've done a, a few of the High West, uh, Westified by Logging News Reviews, but uh, really, really big fan of, of High West and their blending. Um, actually, funny enough that they're owned by Constellation Brands, the same company that owns Ballast Point, so making that collaboration probably very easy. But they're aging the beer in bourbon and rye whiskey barrels. So I'm assuming that they're going to use American Prairie bourbon barrels and then probably double rye barrels. They could be using the Rendezvous rye, which is their uh, more expensive, higher-end uh, whiskey. I wouldn't assume they use the Boo rye barrels, which is a blend of um, rye whiskey and, uh, and, and bourbon. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Love High Westified. Haven't had uh, I haven't had many of the variants actually of Victory at Sea. I know that there's um, God, there's like eight of them. There's peppermint, peanut butter, coffee, vanilla. There's a Heaven Hill edition, um, Elijah Craig barrels. There's um, uh, a rye whiskey one. There's a, uh, a Devil Share. I mean, there's a ton of them out there. So really cool to see them do High West. Uh, getting into the specs of the beer, clocks and 12% alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs. Um, other than that, I mean, we're getting into the accolades real quickly. Beer Advocate from what's out there, 4.33 out of 5, put in that outstanding category. And then from Untapped, you're looking at right around 4.27 caps out of 5 caps. So some good, good solid stuff. I know this is... A great beer. I've I've had the peppermint. I've had the peanut butter. I enjoyed. Um, I haven't really had any of the barrel aged uh, variants, unfortunately. But uh, I'm sure it's gonna be good. And as a High West lover myself, I, I'm sure um, I will enjoy this. They are using coffee and vanilla flavors added. I think I saw that they added some sort of cold brew extract to this to really kind of uh, ramp ramp up some of that coffee Ford notes. So cool in that regard. But let's get it into a glass and and see what we got going on. And I'll be candid with you, I am not the biggest porter fan. I like a porter. I prefer stouts. I prefer, you know, imperial age, you know, bourbon barrel aged or barrel aged stouts to porters. Um, I just think, in my opinion, for me, my palate finds stouts much more drinkable than porters. But, hey, to each his own, right? Uh, pouring beautiful, beautiful color. We got a little bit of carbonation here at the bottom of the glass, as you can see, so mild carbonation there, but opaque, jet black, no light getting through that whatsoever. Uh, about a finger and a half, kind of an aggressive pour, worth of head there, kind of a, you know, light brown, dark khaki color, really tightly compact, a little soap sudsy towards the top of the glass. You can see some of the glass lacing is being left right there as well. Really nice stuff, uh, from Ballast Point here, but yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. Really, really nice. Skin no smell and aroma on this bad boy. Oh wow! Holy cow! Really, really huge bourbon notes. I'm getting massive bourbon notes out of this. Yeah, like bourbon soaked brownie batter. I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting some coconut sweetness. Dark chocolate. Cold brews coming through. That coffee. That roasted espresso note. Maybe a little bit of like almond, some nuttiness, but just huge bourbon, vanilla, oak notes coming out of this big time. Wow, I'm I'm excited. I'm in, I'm intrigued. All right, guys and gals, cheers, pros. For the hell you want to call it, uh, victory at sea, uh, bourbon barrel or uh, aged in high west uh, barrels, Ryan whiskey, San Diego, California. Yeah, wow. Really, I mean, nice glass lacing too. Really bourbon Ford. Really, really bourbon Ford. Um, just kind of like up front, chocolate, kind of like coated espresso beans, if that makes any sense. Really like dark chocolate and espresso. Middle of the mouth, you get big time vanilla, big time oak. You get coconut, 
Um, and then that spicy rye note actually starts to come out. You get a little more of the baker's chocolate, and then it just kind of finishes like completely bourbon barrel, um, you know, like charred oak, drying oak. Um, you get a little bit more, you get some spice from the rye whiskey, but just finishing like really, really bourbon barrel forward. Um, this is very interesting, man. I would love to know like the percentages of like, hey, what, how much, you know, rye whiskey, you know, was it aged in? And then did they blend it after? How did that, you know, how did that transpire, um, that, that whole process? Because, you know, with High West, Westified by Lagunitas, they, I'm pretty sure they flat out say, you know, rye whiskey barrels. So either double rye or rendezvous rye barrels. But this one, they're saying bourbon and rye barrels, but I'm getting a ton of bourbon on here. It's really, in, it's, it's great. It's, it's very, very interesting. It's fresh too. I get a little bit of alcohol in the aftertaste. Not so much warming in the chest, actually, surprisingly enough. It's very drinkable for 12%. It's, it's very nice. Um, getting into the mouthfeel on this, it's got a nice medium to full body. I wouldn't say it's completely full. It's a little oily in the te in the texture there. Um, it it co it coats the palate as well. I I get that with a lot of porters, which is why I kind of go to more stouts. I get this roasty coating note, um, which is not the most desirable to me. But argument for an, for another time. It's got a really really dry finish. It's got a nice carbonation that adds a creaminess to it. Very drinkable, um, moderate level of bitterness. We're down at 35 IBUs from what the website says there. Uh, so for all that considered and taken here, I would give it right around, as for a grade, I would go 93. I think it's an A, A minus beer right in there. I would like to see a little more viscosity, a little more mouthfeel out of this one. Um, I mean, as for barrel characteristics, you're getting your money's worth. I mean, there's a lot of bourbon barrel on here. I do get some of the rye, but I get more bourbon notes than I do, um, rye whiskey. A lot of vanilla, a lot of that, like, toasted, charred oak characteristic coming out. A lot of roasted chocolate, baker's chocolate notes off this porter. It's very nice. Uh, it, it's very nice. But that's all that matters. It matters what you guys and gals think. So let me know by leaving that all in the comment section down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let's go back and forth on the jargon here on the Ballast Point High West Victory at Sea Barrel Aged in Rye and Bourbon Barrels. Until next time, cheers, Prost. We'll see you all again on my Facebook review. Thanks so much for stopping by.